I'm in the northern Gallatin Range on a southwest facing slope at 8,300 feet. The snowpack here is relatively shallow for our forecast area, just about three feet deep. Last weekend, this area got about two feet of heavy snow, which has settled down now to about a foot. And today the danger has decreased from considerable to moderate, which means it's still possible to trigger avalanches. We had our stability test break on a layer, a weak layer of surface hoar that we've been seeing kind of throughout the advisory area below that snow that fell last week. And since that's a persistent weak layer, it's gonna make avalanches large, wide avalanches possible to trigger for multiple days going forward until we, we stop getting added weight on top of it. So we need to keep that in mind. And if we're getting into steep terrain, dig down and test for that. And if, if we see it, avoid steep slopes. We also have weak sugary snow down near the ground, which is becoming unlikely to trigger avalanches on. But in, in these shallower areas, where it's a little closer to the surface and easier to be affected is where you might be able to, to trigger a larger avalanche on that layer near the ground.